Hello friends, how are you? Welcome to Japan Study Center. Today we are going to see the chapter of geography and what is our topic today? Distribution of the precipitation. That is the most important area. Distribution of precipitation. The total distribution of the precipitation is not a uniform all, all over the world. The average annual precipitation for the world as a wall in about a 97.5 cm but there is a land sea laser amount or rainfall then the ocean you know that there is an important here the average annual precipitation for the world as a wall is about a 97.5 cm but the land sea was a laser amount or rainfall than to the oceans the annual precipitation show the marked difference on the land and different place of the earth as a surface receive a different amount of annual precipitation and that to the different season that is important here the main feature of the distribution of the precipitation can be explained with the help of the global pressure and the wind belt distribution of the land and water body and there is the nature of the relief features before arising at a, any conclusion the regarding there is a questions for the regional and seasonal variation let us first see the regional and seasonal distribution pattern of the precipitation the first of all here regional variation the regional variation is the most important here the regional variation on the base of the average amount of the annual precipitation we can recognize the following precipitation region in the world this is important here the first point is the most important region of the heavy precipitation the region which is receive over to 200 cm of annual precipitation are included in the category and this region include to the equatorial coastal area of tropical zone and west coastal zone of the temperate zone there is important point here the second point is the most important here regions of the moderate precipitation the regions which is receive 100 to 200 cm of annual precipitation are included in the this category and this region lies of adjacent to be regions of heavy precipitation eastern coastal region of the subtropical zone and coastal regions of the warm temperate zone are included in this category there is important here and third point region of the less precipitation regions of the less precipitation here this category included Region which have received precipitation between two fifty to hundred centimeters, and this region lies in the interior part of the tropical zone and west interior part of the temperate zone. That is important here. The next is the fourth point: regions of scanty precipitation. The area lying in the rain shadow, elevators, side of mountain rain, the interior part of the continents the best term region of the continent is along tropics and high altitudes receive a precipitation less than 50 cm and this region include tropical temperate and cold desert of the world there is a important here here show the distribution of precipitation is the most important here on the world here the only is a white is it less than 25 but has a line there is a 25 to 50 and the dark line there is a 25 to 50 and 50 to the 100 and the and the next year 100 200 and the more than the 100 is the black there is a most important distribution here now let us carefully study that a map showing the annual average precipitation and distribution of the world in order to become to be flowing conclusion The first conclusion precipitation is the greatest in the equatorial region and decreasing to about to the pole. And second here precipitation is the heaviest in the coastal regions and decrease or to about to the interior of the continent. And third here eastern coastal area of tropical land and the western coastal area of temperate land receive heavy precipitation including equatorial region. The next year precipitation is very heavy on the windward side of the highland 
and where is dry condition is the prevail on the leeward side and the fifth point here coastal area adjacent to be called current are less than the coastal areas near to the warm currents is important here the warmest region of tropical land is a polar region receive a scanty rainfall the main reason began to that is a astralis become dry winds and the polar winds are called and dry there is important here and the next here seasonal variation the seasonal variation is the most important here the regional variation in the distribution of the precipitation in different part of the world are based on average annual precipitation we do not give us any correct picture of the nature of precipitation especially of these regions where a seasonal variations in the amount of precipitation has very common for example arid semi arid and sub humid region therefore it is important to study of seasonal variation of the precipitation in the world the fact related to there is a flowing there is a most important here the first point is important here the equatorial region and the western part of temperate land receive a precipitation throughout the year the former receive a con conventional types of rain while the latter get a cyclonic cum orographic type through the west lies and second point is important here about 2% land areas of the world receive a precipitation only in a winter you know that there is important here about 2% land area of the world receive a precipitation only of winter time and this include the mediterranean region of the world and the core <coughs> mandels coast of india due to seasonal grief shift is a pressure and the blend through is been is system and this region is a mediterranean do not get a precipitation in summer as they come under subtropically high pressure belt and trade winds which is become a dry when they reaching their two western region of content the next point here the remaining part of the world receive a precipitation only in a summer 2% is a here but other is a percent is the remaining part of the world receive is a precipitation only to the summer time there is important here about 2% land area world receive a precipitation only for the winter but other is percentage here remaining but is percentage here or receive of summer time it's make us a clear that a most part of the world experience is a market seasonal variation in the precipitation and seasonal distribution of precipitation here provide us an idea of the judges it is a effectiveness for example the scanty precipitation during to the short growing season in the high altitude is more effective than that of heavy precipitation in the lower altitude like view precipitation in the form of dew fog and mist is a some part like a central india and kalahari's desert has a predictable effect on the standing crop and natural vegetation there is important here the next year c the factor effect in rainfall distribution there is a most important point here the factors effect in rainfall distribution the moisture supply supply to the atmosphere is the main factor is the determining the amount of rainfall in any region equatorial and the rest of the tropical region have a highest evaporation and hence highest supply of the moisture the coastal area has more moisture than the entire part of the continents fresher regions have a very low evaporation and has a very scanty precipitation there is a most important air factor affecting the rainfall distribution here the next year wind direction in the battle of the trade and westerlies wind is a very important winds blowing from sea to the land causing to rainfall land bearing winds are dry the wind blowing from to high to the lower altitude will get a heated and give no rain well those is blowing from lower to the higher altitudes will get a cooling and the cause of rainfall subtropical is desert have a very little rainfall because they have a offshore wind there is important point here and the next year ocean currents the ocean current is a warm wind are associated with the warm moisture winds 
which a cause of rainfall cold quaint have a cold dry winds and hence no rainfall the next point is the presence of mountain across the direction of wind cases of more rainfall on the windward side and the create rain shadow on the landward side and fifth point here is also important pressure belt are closely related with the wind direction and rainfall the area of low pressure att attract to the rain varying to the wind will the area of high pressure do not this is important here the most important point here in the box the distribution of precipitation in different part of the world showing to the mark regional and seasonal variation the mark of regional and seasonal variation the factors affecting rainfall distribution are moisture supply wind direction ocean current presence of mountain and pressure belt there is a most important point here